everybody, how are you doing? If you don't know who I am and you randomly stumble on this little video series that I'm about to begin, I'm Iku. I'm supposed to be in Japan right now, but I'm not. Why? Because of Corona, and also why? Because I I don't know the Japanese government.、Uh, Kind of doesn't want international students to be let in. Hashtag education is not tourism. Please spread the word. I have been waiting for over 15 months now and I can't take it anymore. I miss Japan. I miss it so much. I need to be there. I cannot. <sighs> I'm not gonna go on a rant right now, but <laughs> I have more than enough videos and tweets on the matter. So. Hey, I'm Iku. I love Japan. I've traveled to Japan by myself in the past twice, which means I have two video series here on YouTube where I've filmed myself traveling alone as a woman in Japan、uh, for the first time and then the second time. And I have not rewatched those series since then. The first one was in 2017, I think. Oh my god. Second one, 2019. And I. I've been itching to rewatch them. I need my dose of Japan. But why not watch it again with you guys and have me react to it as I watch it?、Um, I haven't ever done a reaction video before, so、uh, learning curve, please be patient with me. I'll figure something out.、Um, but I can maybe try and remember things that I haven't included in the, in the vlog. I'll、uh, give you some of my thoughts. And、um, I mean, if you guys really enjoy it, I'm hoping to watch most of the episodes, if not all of them. So that will depend on how this one goes. So just let me know in the comments below if I should continue watching these and reacting to them.、Um, I'm not sure in which order I'm going to do them. Either I just do them in chronological order, which would be maybe more logical, or、uh, um, in order of popularity. That could work. Or. Your recommendations, maybe, if you have like a particular episode you would want me to react to. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, right now, either way,、uh, I'm gonna watch the first episode of me going to Japan for the very first time ever back in 2017, which is also the most popular one of the series、uh, with the most views. So,、uh, yeah, haven't seen it since then. And camera battery is flashing. <laughs> I haven't seen it since then, so I think it's gonna be interesting. I don't think it's gonna make me sad, but it might make me want to go to Japan even more and make me even more angry at the Japanese government. Let me in, let us in. <laughs> anyway,、um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. No script whatsoever. I just thought, you know, today's the day I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna change the battery, and I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think this is gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. My PC is on my lap. I have a feeling that a lot of the music I used ended up being copyrighted for some reason. I thought I took it from some copyright free place, and、um, yeah, so I might have to change the audio here and there. Clicking, loading. Intro. Oh, the little intro that I made. Yay! Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. My alarm has been ringing since 5 a.m. Oh,、well, you know what I mean. <laughs> it turns gradually on. I'm just as chatty as ever. <laughs> And now it's like fully on. I'm doing one last face mask、uh, before getting on a plane. And I wash my hair. You can see. Such- Which might not have been that a face mask was good. great idea seeing that I'm gonna be on a stinky, dirty plane.、Um, picked out my outfit. As you can see here, I'm wearing this really oversized sweater jumper thing that I got from the men's section at Primark. <laughs> Yeah, and I wear it. Really nervous, really not rushed for time, but I'm gonna wear it. Because I know it's me. But also,、Getting、it doesn't feel like me. I can't really explain it. Stop procrastinating because this trip is happening. No putting it off. It was my first time traveling so far by myself, so I was really freaking out. Oh, my flat. Oh my god.、Uh, I feel so unreal with all my furniture. 
gone for like three weeks yeah my side shave oh my god with my like with my part like i had my hair parted all the way oh i'm a blonde airport oh, flying arriving Ooh. i've been waiting for her to shut up so i could film but she's just going on and on and i know i look a mess and i don't know why it isn't focusing yeah Aww. Yeah, I just wanted to say I landed, I got my JR pass. I am disgusting and sweaty JR and it's really hot to be wearing this jumper, but I'll just have to wait. So now I'm gonna take the Narita Express into Tokyo, into Ikebukuro, and then from there I'm gonna get a metro to my inn and hopefully I don't get lost. I'm kind of hiding here behind this pillar because even though it's like the airport, everybody's still looking at me like, what is this foreign girl? that looks tired AF doing and by, I didn't sleep on the plane I tried and uh, just a nightmare but yeah, I remember that it's, it's the evening soon so I'm gonna get to sleep soon I just gotta stick to the local schedule and I think I'll be fine I'm gonna try a vending machine because I need some change vending machine of the day I didn't make that song in English I have no clue what these like, are <laughs> but we're gonna try it out so how do you think that works? I guess you choose one. And then, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I just felt very self-conscious. I don't actually know if people were actually looking at me, uh, but I definitely felt like they were. Um, what I remember is that, yeah, there was a very long queue for the JR Pass. Oh, where did the lighting go? Lighting. Yeah, there was a very long queue for the JR Pass. I had to fill a bunch of papers. It, I don't know if I looked for it for a very long time. It doesn't ring a bell. Um, I think I got the JR Pass and I don't remember in which order with the luggage and everything. But then when I exited all that area, I had the filming people for the first time. I got it both times when I arrived at Narita when they ask you like what are you what do you want to do here in Japan and if the answer is interesting enough uh, I think they follow you around but I wonder if I my interviews ever got aired but honestly you just got off a plane and you're exhausted and you're kind of disoriented in my case I don't remember what on earth I answered to these people um, but yeah Anyway, uh, I remember that happened and I was so hot and sweaty. I don't... when was it? End of October? Yeah, like mid-October, end of October. It was still really hot actually. So I remember being really sweaty and filming and being like excited and stressed out but not really knowing where I have to go. So like all the emotions. Um, jail pass. Yeah, I mentioned that. Then I got the Narita Express. Um, I don't really remember much about the Narita Express actually. I think I just had to put my luggage in this little area and then I don't think I had a reserved seat ticket. I don't remember how it works. I only took the Narita Express once and that was that time so I don't have much memory of it. Uh, but since, since it was covered by the Jaro Pass, I mean it was really useful. Um, and then I remember arriving I think I just mentioned Ikebukuro and then taking the metro. I don't remember much except walking through Ueno station, dragging my super heavy suitcase and all my stuff um, down. Cause I think there was some construction work, so they would like had to lug my suitcase down the stairs. And I remember arriving extremely sweaty where I am supposed to be staying, if I remember. Let's see. Here comes the Narita Express. I remember it was quite busy. But I can't remember the number thing. I say I look tired, but honestly, I look much better. <laughs> I feel like I've 
aged so much, especially in this past year with all the stress of the pandemic. Oh yeah, I remember and seeing all the people waiting for the waiting um like discovering Tokyo for the first time and seeing the people line up for the metro like super clean lines and polite and everything and taking a photo and sending it to my family and they were like oh my goodness it's so different that's definitely a, um, a memory that rings a bell uh, the next clip is me already in, in Toko the place I stayed at um, I don't remember what it's called like not a shared house but like a host a hostel hostel Toko um, I already told you guys that story in another video but when I arrived at I don't think it was Ugui Sudani, but it was in that area. Uh, I got so lost and this nice old man tried to help me out and um, couldn't figure out where Toko was, but when I explained that when it was next to a fire department, he knew where that was and then I was able to find Toko, which I am just arrived. I've arrived here. I don't remember much. I remember that I was embarrassed because of how awfully sweaty and gross I was from carrying that suitcase in Ueno station uh, I remember the hosts being very nice um, <laughs> them laughing at um, the drawings in my travel book because I had drawn like all the currency, the yen uh, so I could recognize them, they found that really funny for some reason um, paid, they showed me around, they showed me where I was supposed to stay, oh my god the dogs are barking, I hope I don't have to go downstairs. We'll see. Um, I'll check in a minute. Show me to my room. I think I just took a shower and went to bed. That's what I think I did. I don't think I even went out. Let's see. I'm whispering because I'm in a dorm room right now. There's nobody in here, but the walls are really thin and there are multiple dorms today. I'm in a only a girl only dorm and I'll have to switch around for the next few days because there wasn't enough room. But this place is friggin' amazing. It's gorgeous. It's um like it's got it's got this traditional feel that they've recreated, so it's really cool. Right now I haven't slept since uh the night before my departure I'm kind of exhausted but also I can feel my body trying to wake itself up so I'm gonna go to sleep it's like 10 p.m. here in Japan uh, in Tokyo Japan guys and I'm gonna try and sleep in this dorm I don't know how it's gonna go because it's 27 degrees here and it's I I've never really hot oh, it's so humid I think something's coming somebody's coming yeah it's very humid I'm gonna go to sleep now okay yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all I did. I think I arrived, took a shower, went to bed. Um, I, I do remember the heat. Definitely remember the heat. Uh, those first two or three days, I don't, we'll have to see in the next episode. I think it was very hot and then after it just rained and rained and rained for like a very long time. I, what it feels like a very long time anyway. Um, but yeah, I remember it would look so good. It had this cute little garden and uh, I think you see it in the next episode um, Bunk beds. It really did have this nice little uh, Japanese style feel like kind of Both like hostel, but could also be like someone's home and it was really cool Really enjoyed Toko uh, except for the internet connection and except also when I had to change dorms and go into a co-ed dorm and the snoring was really bad I don't remember if I ever mentioned that but the snoring was horrible <laughs> at one point um, but yeah this is this reaction is twice as long as the actual video with me talking so I hope I can cut it down a little bit uh, so I'm gonna end it now. I know I have I could talk about this for a very long time, but I want to See the next episodes uh, before I start spoiling them right now Of course if you haven't seen the series this might be very annoying for you to watch so I'm cutting and talking over it. So Please go back and watch them. I, I feel like It will be necessary to watch each episode at least once before watching me react to them 
Um, and I think that's it. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of video. I feel like it's a little series that could be fun to do for me as well as for you guys while we're both waiting. Uh, desperately waiting for the borders to reopen. And um, let me know if the next one I should react to is the second episode of this series or the next most popular or any episode that you would recommend as you wish just let me know if i should continue these um i really enjoyed that i really really enjoyed that i would not go back to that hairstyle i don't think but <laughs> it was really fun to see myself uh just a few years younger discovering tokyo in japan for the very first time very oh. <laughs> I do feel more blessed to have at least done it, even though now I'm waiting and not feeling great at all about it. Um, at least I have these experiences to look back on. Yeah, looking forward to watching the next one if that's something that you guys would like. Hope you are well, keeping safe, keeping your head up. Yeah. <laughs> weird time, weird times to be alive. L word, you will. Thank you so much, guys.